Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to do just a little philosophical piece on distro hopping and things like this. Um, I received a wonderful comment on one of the distro wars and I thought it was the recent one and I couldn't find it. My apologies uh, if it was your comment, but he said, you know, I don't like the distro wars because it encourages people to distro hop rather than grab something and stick with it. That's a valid point. So let's go ahead and talk about the distro wars, what it is, why I do it, and uh, let's talk about what we can gleam and what is completely right. Um, because there's so much valid in there, and there's also a lot in there that, uh, that I look at and I say, well, maybe, maybe not. It depends upon your perspective. So first and foremost, let's talk about distro hopping. If you're new to the world of Linux, distro hopping generally refers to th this practice that some people have in the Linux world where you install something, you're running with it, and then next week you just wipe everything out and reinstall something else and run with that for a while, wipe everything out. The and I am not a distro hopper. So let's go ahead and look at the individual computers that I'm running. The only computer that is consistently actually distro hopped is actually this one uh, behind me, the one with the Star Labs logo over here. But even that, I haven't actually changed the OS in 18 months. What I like is, I like the ability at this point to keep this one as an arch that's constantly rolling because it allows me to play around with new versions of applications. This one back here, the Linux Mint computer, which is my main production computer, has not changed since I built the computer. And the reason is I want the solid stability. I do not want anything to change. I want my system to consistently work and be exactly the same when I pick it up. I do not distro hop. I am not a hopper at all, nor do I really encourage you to go out and distro hop for yourself. Now, my other computers, I do have my mobile writing computer, or excuse me, my mobile work computer. When I'm out traveling, getting my web design work done, that one also runs Linux Mint. I think I put that computer together in 2017. Again, it hasn't changed. I've been toying with the idea of rolling it up and actually wiping it and reinstalling the latest version of Linux Mint on it, but eh, I'm happy with where it is right now. I could do a distro upgrade. Mostly my concern is it takes a while to boot up and that's something that happened when you rolled it from 17 into 18. Eh, that's okay, but I don't really have a problem with it. I also have my writing computer, which I've had that one going since I think 2016 maybe. In fact, you know what? I think the other one was 2016 too. I think I got them both about the same time. Um, that one has run Peppermint on it, and again, I've never changed the operating system on it, save for a month into having the computer. I was running Ubuntu on it, but since it's a low-spec system, it was struggling with a little with Ubuntu, so I wiped Ubuntu, went with uh, Peppermint instead, and that's the case. So first and foremost, point number one is if you're new to Linux especially, Unless you are having a specific problem that is a deal breaker for you, I encourage you, do not distro hop. Now, that being said, the Distro War series is about comparing multiple distros together. For what purpose? Well, number one, if you are just looking at what is available in Linux, maybe you're looking to make the switch, maybe you're buying a new computer and you want to experiment with something else, it gives you a good compare and contrast between two similar distributions. And the idea is you can look at the you can look at how I take different distributions and pin them against one another, looking at a variety of different aspects of the distribution, either out of the box or with some customizability or things like that. So ultimately what we get is we get to see which distributions work better, which distributions work work worse, what are the advantages and disadvantages for different people looking at different distributions. That is a good reason for it. Now the second reason I like to do those is it keeps me fresh and knowledgeable about what is in there because I am not a distro hopper. Uh, the, the Arch system, I can actually boot into two different desktop environments, although always I almost always boot into Cinnamon. The other one on there is Gnome. And this one over here, of course, is always uh, an older version of Cinnamon, which is the system that I really like. I do have another work computer, which is replacing the Windows 7 computer here when it finally kicks the bucket. And that one's also running Linux Mint 19, and I have no intention of changing that one either. So that is a very valid criticism about the distro wars possibly encouraging distro hopping. So 
is it important to, uh, to look at different distributions? I think it is. Now, I was looking through the comments looking for that one, and I found another neat comment that would be worth, uh, worth addressing here. And uh, that comment is, there's too many distributions already, can we just stop already? <laughs> Uh, this one here, I agree with in principle and I disagree with in principle. So let's talk about what I mean by that. Well, I agree with in principle in that there are too many distributions and we're getting a lot of things that aren't even really distributions. It's like I've taken Ubuntu, I've put a different theme on it, and I've added three packages and released an ISO and called it a distro. I don't really think that's a distro and those types of things do cloud up the Linux world. It'd be better if some of those eh, probably don't exist. Maybe, or not don't exist. Why don't we do this? Why don't we take use different terms? We have like spins and we have distros. Maybe we can come up for with a different theming uh, that we can say, hey, this isn't a distro. This is just maybe a Linux mod. I don't know. I don't know. But that would be a lot better. That way you don't look at the Linux uh, world and see thousands of distributions and go, I don't even know where to start. So where do you start if you're new? Well, if you're a more computer, advanced computer guy, but you're new to Linux, but you're like, hey, I'm up for a challenge. I'm a computer guy. I'm not intimidated by it. You know, look at Arch, look at Manjaro. Um, if you're looking for good installers, um, Endeavor OS is an excellent installer. Arco Linux, Arch Labs. Uh, Manjaro or just, hey, reading the documentation and regular plain old boring vanilla arch. Those are all excellent directions you can go. If you're a little bit more intimidated by computers, actually, no, let's, let's take the next case. You're that same guy, but you don't want something that always rolls. You're like, give me something more stable. Go with Debian, maybe MX Linux if you want some of the extra theming or maybe Linux Mint Debian Edition. Those are all really good distributions put together with really good teams, giving you a good, solid, non-rolling distribution that you get security updates, but you're not having anything on your system change. Now, if you're just like a computer normie guy and you're just, you're just like, okay, I can turn on a computer. I can get my work done, but under the hood, I don't want to mess with under the hood. I take command line, oh, command line, no, bad. Um, if, if that's you, you want to go with something like an Ubuntu or one of the close Ubuntu distributions like Linux Mint, like Peppermint, uh, Farron OS is good, I think Zorin is good. Uh, these distributions are, are based on Ubuntu. They have a wide variety of different desktop options, layouts, things like this. And in reality, I've just handed off only about a dozen. Can you choose between a thousand or two? Eh, maybe not. Can you choose between a dozen Linux distributions? Sure, as long as you understand the basic rubric. Number one, are you a computer pro or not intimidated by the computer, willing to read documentation and not scared of the terminal? Hey, Arch, Debian. Do you want rolling Arch? Do you want non-rolling Debian? Are you a little bit more of a computer novice? You can turn one on, but not really. I. Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Zorin, Farron. Outside of those, um, Peppermint, let's throw that one in there as well. Outside of those, there's a lot of other distributions out there that are excellent as well. But if you overwhelm yourself, you can overwhelm yourself by looking at all of the trees in the forest rather than looking at one or two trees in front of you. Other ones, of course, here I didn't mention that are also good. Your OpenSUSE, your Fedora, those are also good as well. Um, maybe they're more on the more experienced end of things. But nevertheless, I'm not intimidated by the number of Linux distributions. I'd rather have the problem of too many than too few, in all honesty. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not a person that encourages distro hopping. I do appreciate those comments because they were very good, very valid comments. So I don't do distro wars to encourage distro hopping. I do distro wars so that we can all stay abreast on what is... Uh, what is up there and really what is the difference between Manjaro and Linux Mint as the last video I did uh, I did have. So if you're new to it, you would appreciate a Distro Wars comparison so you can understand what are those differences and that way we can highlight what does rolling mean, what does static mean, how do these two compare and contrast to each other as I'm looking at them over the course of the video. So excellent comments and I absolutely appreciate those, but I did want to have that clarification. I am not a distro hopper. I do not encourage distro hopping. When you find the system that works best for your hardware profile and works best with your user flow, unless you're having an issue, do not change your distribution. 
you're going to potentially shoot yourself in the foot if you try to. So uh, just stick with what you got and use the Distro Wars just to learn about what's out there. Maybe learn about what you might want to test on your next computer build or anything like that. But I'm not a huge uh, proponent of, of um, Distro Hopping. So those are kind of my thoughts. Uh, let me know about uh, your thoughts. Do you think there's too many or too few Linux distributions? Um, do you think we should have fewer distributions? Are you a distro hopper or, uh, or a distro not hopper? Uh, let me know all that in the comments down below. Thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.